I'm in Manchester. Ta. See that? The old canal goes right up to it there. Where they used to tie barges now. I love this thing. It's don't tie them over it now. Charge. Charge for it, is that much fun? I'll zoom a bit so we don't lose all the light. Ruining everybody's fun like that. So I'm going to walk out of this this way. The old fashioned way. As I say, hello Manchester UK again. And I'm up in that direction. Listen to the noise of the engines fade away. And as I say, I'm going on a scout, so. Haywood section is somewhere around here. There's a swing bridge, gutted it, it's been knocked down to be honest. Wherever, wherever it is, I'd love to see it. It's gone. Uh, da -da -da -da. Just for the area of Trub, that swing bridge and the bridges were there anyway. So it could be older than the canal. The actual swing bridge, I mean, a wooden one previously. So the LYR company owned a couple of those train lines over there. So whether the branch line was on about, there'd be two different companies could have the railway into Manchester at that time, there would be rivals. So it's possible. Just gotta buy the land and get it get through there. Um, incidentally, I could get a train from here to Daisyfield, Daisyfield Cart, right near my house. A train. Could have been a train station there, to Berra. Just in that field there. And now the motorways are there, aren't they? Which I find a bit sad to be honest. Boring. So there we go. So First anomaly, I know that man said he said what he said. So I'm, I've always been, I've got an eye for it. Because of the motorway at that point, this bit's culverted here at this point. This is the original canal we're looking at down there. I swear to you. This has all been put in as part of a new build to reopen it. And the culvert goes under the motorway at that point, so that's where the swing bridge it suggested is, underneath. So there was maybe two branch lines, we're not sure, and we're going to end in this little village. It's called Trub Road, and it's a modern road, you can hear it from here. Heaton Park Reservoir, um, I believe somehow channels water through from the Irk as well. Uh, I'm not sure how exactly that works, I've only just recently heard that, some farm of old pump house, which is one of the oldest ones we were talking about engines so Ian Park Reservoir that's in existence from like 1860s so that that would be around I'm just trying to give you an era Ian Park so it's got um, an observatory because we're into the stars at this time we still are so the 
there's something going on there, isn't there? You know, beyond the culvert. Because that bridge, it's the bridge that froze me because it's concrete, it's too modern. The stonework's been rebuilt on the top for nostalgia, it's like grade two listed. That to me looks like the original canal channel. I'm going to find that Haywood link then. So he's saying where the swing bridge is, is now where the current motorway is. Yeah? But I've got a little trick that I can't tell people because I'm not giving my, my techniques away because I've done some quite, you know, my own way of looking at things. And there's no way I am going to say how I know. I'm not, I really am not. But the line is where I say it is. And I'm going to stick with it. Why not? Let's have an anomaly and let's um, stop being boring. I disagree and I think I was right in the first place. No one really knows because it was 219 years ago when it was built and it was active right up until I think 1960s. Still had boats going up and down in it, but nobody will really know. It will be moving about all over. This looks like the original section now again, so it could, I'm not really sure myself. So I'm just going to walk on and look now. Of course, the original canal would be a straight line, and so there'd be a tunnel. Ah, there'll be a bridge in that bank in there, but that might be a modern line, you see. The banked up line at the back, because there were six lines all parallel at the lower level at first. So there you go. Might be ramps up there because it has to get up higher over the Pennines and it says pipe tunnels further along. Okay, peace out Manchester. Some form of lock system which differs from what we've seen before. Swing bridges. Mechanisms for swing bridges and stuff. We'll be fine then. I doubt it this time, it's going dark now. And it's raining. So, today, Manchester, I've spoke to the world and his dog and her dog and everybody. I've actually enjoyed it though. But I've always said it makes it a bit less professional, but I found out so much information to go on. Everybody who spoke to me has had something to say. You know, they, they, they love the infrastructure around it. They're just like, oh, right, yeah, yeah, can I, uh, you just chuck a shopping trolley in it and like, yeah, yeah, boring, isn't it? And that, yeah, they really, you know, they appreciate it. They go, oh, yeah, it's a marvel of engineering and all that. It's brilliant. Everyone knows the, the term culvert. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I didn't. Anyway. Yeah, this spoke to another gentleman, he's fascinated by stuff. Well, I've learned things from them, they learn stuff from me. So it's basically now find my way back to a main road in the modern world and just get the sounds and ambience. Peace out, Manchester, UK. Three videos of time with Stephen Goddard. And as you know, we're just near the Manchester Berry Bolton Canal. It's totally not our. So we're just coming to the end of the light on the canal today. So I'll just get some sounds while I wait for dark. And there we go, we've got another lovely little inlet from a guy. So the systems are still the same all the way along, it's still the same. But it's stone in that, the oldness of that. If that's such a term we can use. I think it's a term we can use, Manchester. I think we can do what we want. So there's stairs there at the side, see? Inlet there from the top of the key. It's the same design, pretty much all the way. It's only flips over from the left to the right from time to time. I struggled to suss out what they were when I first started following it. But they're bringing water through underground from the side there, so you don't have to waste the water if the rocks fall up and the boat wants to go through. You can keep it stored and the water keeps flowing. So it's always got water for the next one if this one's going. They're all going at the same time, aren't they? And there we go. There's all the ray around there. Look at its 
old stone channeling as we're losing light. So no more culverts, no more culverts today Manchester, no more waterways, no more trains. Unfortunately, we'll come back and we are at Block 52, Bridge 65. It's actually um, Horse Bridge. I could have sworn there was a person behind me there. That would have been brilliant for Halloween. And they've gone, but they've been walking in the other direction. <laughs> That's because I look through a camera, you see. Sometimes your perspective's a bit ski with. So, yeah, trains took over. And that was the end of all this. But I need to seriously find my way out now. It's going dark. Winter time, another thing I want to add about winter time. I've already got some better shots of things I didn't get last time because we can see when we go in the trees. So I've got a few things I've already done the planning for today. You listen very careful, you can hear echoes in there that sound like music. This is an unusual thing, it's going to be a joke or you're not going to get me at all. It's like when you get up at three in the morning for a glass of water and it's like there's people trapped in your fridge. You can hear, oh, oh, oh. Mine does it anyway, it's an old one. It sounds like people, it's like um, the Ghostbusters machine where they fill it up with all the ghosts. I think my freezer's somehow connected to the spiritual world. There we go. Modern, we call it Barrett type housing but I'm not sure if it is anymore. So the old village is situated in there. There's an old bleach works around there. The man went, oh yeah, yeah, there was, there was actually. Yeah, I, don't, I felt like, I know. So I'm loving it, I'm loving it now. Just it's become my hobby. It's not, it's still a time capsule, but this one's fully functioning. Still in full working order. That is amazing, isn't it? Pleasure cruising, but it's still going because it's free if you look after it. The water channel's down, obviously the land, but what did they do with it? Just smashed it to pieces and threw concrete in it. They never used it. They never turned it into a railway or a road. Just filled it in. Mills got smashed and buried underneath, underneath that lot. There's all kinds of bleach and all sorts of stuff. There is though. Buried lead and mills that were just smashed down. They could have pits underneath, coal mining pits that were not charted. It's just, I don't know, you know what I mean? Just come along and you just smash it in. You don't think about like that that swing bridge should be a grade two listed structure. And if you start planning for this grade two stru structure, grade two listed structure, a couple of miles away, you can actually channel the motorway slightly around it. I'll come up with an idea just to keep it in existence for people to look at. You could even put plaques saying, This is how we used to cross in eighteen hundred, but now we cross by the motorway. I'm going to smash it to pieces and then try and teach people about history. This is the best way to learn about history. I'm sure if you're into the war, I know people go over to Normandy on the beach and stuff like that and they have a look around at what you know the troops faced. You, you learn more. It's like when they say travel broadens the mind. Going through history and finding and trying to explain how it worked. It teaches you in itself. It teaches you when the road was put in. It teaches you when the electric train was put there why the substation has to cross in a really weird place so they had to design a brand new bridge yeah how the four for five that, that's a good example the first massive steel bridge that can swing and pivot right round to like a massive ship through that is a real that's a real feat of engineering that it's not like Meccano you know what I mean you're carrying hundreds of tons and millions and millions of pounds worth of boating equipment incidentally we're going to get on some machines, but at this, the most important thing is that things are still measured by horsepower. When they made the uh, anchor for the Titanic, and they say it's a modern wonder, they had to drag it all the way to the Docklands with 76 horses, 76 horsepower. That's where the turn now is used right across the board, the power source of an engine. And guess what, I got a little bonus when I said I've got some special stuff. It's made really, really heavy now. 
and I'm getting it all over the lens as you probably noticed. Plus my gimbal's shower proof and I'm not wrecking my gimbal for a bit of rain. And we've, we've much of lightness haven't we now, seen them all. There's a point where I'm going to leave and try and find the bus. But it's bonfire night, incidentally. I forgot to mention that. It's part of the Halloween festival, traditionally. But as we know, bonfire night now it celebrates, or well, celebrates, Guy Fawkes attempting to bought House of Parliament, or he took the rap for it anyway. First, like an activist he was. Basically like a Che Guevara type. I don't know why we celebrate, because he never succeeded in blowing it up. And that's my sense of humour, there you go. Sarcasm. Almost sarcasm with an element of truth. So that lot gate's full. So the outlet's blocked off there. So they filled it up on purpose, that's what I mean. And they're going to let some water down. This is because it rains a lot more this way. So they lock it all in, let it all fill up, and then they'll let it all down later. Because they don't want to work 24 hours, but 50 a day we're going. So they would have had people on every lock at that point. That's how it works. You probably had your own lock system to run. Rochdale Canal, we've reached Castleton. It was the first canal to cross the Pennines, completed in 1804. Salby Bridge in Yorkshire, 
Castlefield Base in Manchester, 32 miles, 91 locks. That's what it says on the information board. I knew that, you know, so. Basically a standard script on everything. That's what I mean, that man might know when he says it went under definitely because he's seen it and he can't find that swing bridge. I've found traces of all sorts, but there's all, there is literally traces of all sorts, to be honest. Peace out.